Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. If you're wondering the not so straight ankle, it's because I placed you on the side of a tree and it's because I want the background here, the tea field here in Hangzhou and I just really want to make a video from this place because it's gorgeous! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the, today's video is going to be about how, how Chinese people socialize, where they go, what they do. I thought about this topic because a lot of you guys contact me before you're going to ch coming to China and you're asking me how like how is the Chinese people can I make friends what about the language and like I want to learn more Chinese and I say it's always a good idea to find Chinese friends um, but yeah of course where to go what to do well I got you back because today we're going to talk about a few things that a lot of Chinese people like to do. Uh, of course it's not all of them and I'm just trying to give you guys some examples. Um, remember there might be some who are not into it or maybe they're doing other things. Anyways, blah 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 blah. <laughs> so the first one coming in is drinking, drinking, drinking. Just like all around the world. but. When the Chinese go drinking, they also go eating. So it's always around the table in a restaurant. A lot of young Chinese people never go to bars. It's a new concept. So the drinking is usually these big bottles of beer and you drink them together with food with your friends around a round table. That's the first thing. That's a, a very fun activity because you get to know each other, you eat, you drink a bit and you don't get too drunk because of that. Well, it depends how much you drink of course or if they and also if they come out with the baijiu, the rice wine, then take care of buddy, take care. <laughs> okay, the second thing they really like to do is barbecue. Barbecue, another kind of food. I know it's kind of under the first one, but like barbecue is outside and it's really really cool it's a super cozy activity because uh, the barbecue is made like this you go and you choose what you want to eat and then the barbecue guy he's gonna grill it for you and then everyone is sitting down around these small plastic tables plastic chairs it's really cool um, they have it everywhere in China but usually of course a lot in the south because the weather is nicer there right now in Dongbei and Beijing it's going it's way too cold for that but yeah barbecue is like a major thing also hot pot if it's inside hot pot is also super popular because it's like a thing we do together because you choose all these different things and then there is one or two big pots and then you boil everything together and then it's like a you know what is that called a collective activity uh, together activity I don't know that word anyways that's a really cool thing to do as well okay so like the third thing is super popular it's really 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 popular uh, a lot of Chinese people they love karaoke okay so for me I love singing but I had never really done karaoke because we don't really do it in Denmark um, if people do it, it's like you're super drunk it's in a bar and somebody forced you to go and sing something whereas here people actually do it for the fun of it fourth thing and the fifth thing they're both both new concepts as I said drinking the club the fourth thing is the club and the fifth thing is the cafe so these are new things in China and I think it's because I'm in Beijing so I see it more um, I know it's different in the smaller towns um, some places there aren't any uh, like this uh, maybe bars but not like cafes cafes still a very new concept but anyways in Beijing the young people they love to go there the bars as I said it's a new thing as well the bars in the club in Beijing I don't know about Shanghai probably the same but like like super fancy and big and like lots of uh, what's that called like um, like uh, people are performing in the clubs and they're like uh, places with live music there are so many things you can do with your Chinese friend or your foreign or foreign blah blah foreign friends <laughs> in, uh, in in Beijing 
Um, of course, I'm talking on behalf of Beijing or like my examples are from Beijing because that's where I live. So, well, surprise, that's what I know of. Um, but yeah, I really love this as well and I love to take my friends there and that's all for this video. I don't think I have more. Well, you can go to the library, but you can't really talk there, so. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you got some ideas and I hope that you're prepared and ready to go to China. Don't worry, you will easily make friends. The Chinese people are so freaking friendly. It's amazing. So don't worry, but please practice some Chinese because the language can be a problem. Yes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video from the tea fields here in Hangzhou and please leave a comment below if you have anything to add to this little list it was not super big so if you have any ideas then please add it below um, I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world I do indeed just climbing around in this place and uh, yeah I'll see you again very very soon Li Ming is out see ya and 再见 bye bye